Hi everyone, uh, this video is going to be a short uh, video explaining what's in the engagement report, uh, the one that you can see um, over here. Um, so the important thing to understand within this uh, given report is that it's linked with the different cookies uh, which are set uh, when you are visiting the website uh, using Matubo. So for example, here you get the PEC ID uh, representing the visitor and here the session one indicating uh, the visits in which uh, the given visitor is within it. Um, the other confusion is in fact coming when uh, you are using a translation of Matomo, so to say, uh, for example, the French version. So here in English, it's currently written, it's returning visits as the first indicator, but when you look into French, it's saying uh, known visitors, and it may of course uh, create a confusion, so that's why I strongly recommend you to have Matomo within the English uh, version like this, it's easier to uh, to analyze. So, in fact, what this report is showing is like showing you two parts, the part which is on the left over here and the part on the right over here. This one is concerning the one who has never visited your website so far, so this is the new visitor, so the visitor for which this cookie has just been set on, whereas actually this part over here is the one dealing with the one who already have this cookie on and uh, which is uh, basically just uh, updated regarding the uh, expiry, expiry date, I guess. So uh, in order to check that out, I'm just going to go here within the settings and I'm just going to switch the language to English like this. It will be uh, more uh, self-explanatory. So here, okay, back, back, down. Okay, so now I can go back on this uh, report named engagement. And so here I just have one, well, it doesn't matter, it's gonna be fine. Um, so here, uh, this is the situation that I have. I just have one given uh, visitor and I get a uh, new, let's say, uh, visitors coming in. So this is what I have over here, as you can see. I get uh, returning visits uh, one and, and four new visits. And in fact, I can easily check uh, what I just explained with those two categories. If you go over here and that you create uh, one segment, which is gonna be like, uh, like known visitors. If you go like known visitors like this and you select a visitor type, so it's type, yep, type. Okay. visit type and if you select uh, the returning one and that uh, you apply the segment you will clearly see that it goes up to uh, up to zero over here you see the new uh, visits coming in um, there's none of them because the, the thing is that this segment is just taking into consideration the known visits so here uh, as you can see, uh, the number of new visits is going to go to uh, zero and just correspond to this given part. Whereas if I'm, let's say, doing the opposite segment, I will see that this part uh, will be uh, filled in with, uh, with, with data. I'm just going to take one week of data like this. It probably makes uh, more, more sense to you. Yeah, here we get more data, and as you can see, it's still sticking to uh, to zero over here. So let's uh, let's do the opposite now. Let's uh, say like new visitors, and we're gonna see that this part's gonna be filled in with data, whereas this one will be equal to zero. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna just call them new visitors, and I'm just gonna go over here and just gonna look for type, and select the visit type and and just take uh, the new one. So we're going to create this segment, the new visitor, and we're going to see that now this category is equal to zero and this one is filled in with data. And that's all that you need to, to know, let's say, regarding this report, how to analyze it. So probably if uh, you are struggling with the name of the uh, metrics that you have here, it's probably because the translation has not been 100% correct. So better to switch into English like this. Uh, you get the clean um, named over here. And just to let you know that this part is about the visitors which already visit your website in the past. And this one is about the one who just uh, visited it. And of course, uh, those data need to be analyzed according to the period that you are choosing here, because if you change this period, of course, uh, some new visitor may not come 
I might have been you visitors. Um, by the way, I'm just gonna remove this given segment in order to give you one extra information. Normally, what you should observe out of those data is that those data should be better than those because those data are in fact visitors who have not who don't have a clue about your website. Uh, here it's kind of strange on my website because the one who know my website, as you can see, uh, they have learned sync, which normally is not the uh, expected behavior. In fact, as those visitors know your website, normally you should have a bounce rate, which is far lower because they know how to browse it. Whereas actually on this one, um, they should uh, be, you sh should have a high bounce rate because people are kind of scared of your website the first time that they see it. So they don't know where to look out in terms of information. Uh, so in my case, a bit different. Um, and uh, and that that's what you should expect. Okay, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.